Um, I, I don't feel conflicted. Um, I've been coming over to the Middle East for 20 years and to Southeast Asia. I've had sporting um, business and commercial relationships with these parts of the world for a long, long time. And the fact that FIFA have awarded a, a World Cup to Qatar in the last few weeks, that's come under huge scrutiny. I accept that position. I, you know, I'm there to be shot at and people have criticised me heavily. They've criticised criticize our colleagues uh, on the BBC yesterday for being over here. Um, but the reality of it is, uh, my view on it is per quite simply that, you know, I detest uh, workers' rights abuses. I hate the idea of people not being paid enough money, people working in poor conditions, uh, the idea of people not having good accommodation, the fact that women's rights... Uh, I also have relationships in this part of the world and I've done for many, many years. And those relationships are long-standing. Those relationships are long-standing in our country with the UK. If you think about the fact that we buy most of our energy from the Middle East, that they own our banks, that the royal family have relationships with the Middle East, both sporting and charitable. You think about our government, our political parties have relationships with the Middle East. They own London Heathrow Airport, they own London Stock Exchange. And the fact of the matter is it's football that's actually brought the scrutiny and football tournaments that have brought the scrutiny on these challenges that exist in this part of the world and the way in which these things happen. And from my point of view, I'm, I'm happy for football to front that up, that I think that football stands up, football players stand up. We've got another issue today with the One Love Armband, with Harry Kane, these political and social issues, which I'm absolutely delighted to talk about. I think there's a serious conversation to be had, because my point always is, should there be a World Cup in all parts of the world? Should there be a World Cup in the Middle East? Should there be a World Cup in Arab countries? There absolutely should be. And if we're going to do that, then we are going to come across some of these issues that exist in these parts of the world where we don't agree with them. And I will continue to keep coming to this part of the world. I'll continue to go, keep going to uh, parts of Southeast Asia. Um, other sectors like energy sectors, um, our air force, our banks, our political parties, they seem to want to shy away from their existing relationships that they have with this part of the world. Personally, I've been hammered over this last few weeks, and that's fine, but I'm happy to stand up and debate it because I think there's a serious conversation about where, where sporting competitions should be held, and I believe they strongly should be held in the Middle East.